you believe in Jesus? Yes, I do. Well, you're going to meet him. You see what fun this is? It's going to get really exciting. I know what to do now. They have made it clear. You warriors are good. We are good. The best. One hell of a team, Snake. The name is Pliskin. It's 42nd Street Forever, the official podcast of Grindout Cinema Database. I'm Pete Roberts, and I'm here with my special guest, Phil Duke from Making Tarantino the new podcast about all the films that have influenced Quentin Tarantino over the years. And I'm very happy to have him back. Hey, Phil, how you doing? I am good and I'm proud. I'm happy to be back. And I think we should just make this a regular thing. So we're back for another uh, double feature from uh, the, that happened on the deuce on April 10th, 1984. The first movie is uh, Alley Cat from that came out in 1984 and it was directed by Edward Victor, but it actually was three directors made this. It was Al Valletta, Victor Ordonez, and Ed Palmos. Yeah, I was trying to... I don't know what that was all about. I was trying to figure that out. I tried to... Sometimes IMDb is crazy with their facts where you're like, that's not even a fact. That's just... You know, yeah. this guy ate a frog in this right. movie and he also ate a frog in that movie. I don't care. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 But this yep. was like, they didn't really go into explaining. But yeah, three different directors. It's like, it seemed all the same. It seemed to me like the same tone, you know. Yeah, I don't know how that worked. But uh, and also, I didn't really know any of the uh, of the stars in the movie. And I didn't really mm-hmm. know anybody like in this movie at all. Yeah, because it was like it was like one of those one one off low budget exploitation film. So I was, you know, trying to like, well, like the, the star of the movie is Karen Manny. And we were like we were saying we didn't really see her in anything else. Yeah, I think she was in she was in Avenging Angel a couple years later. But I mean, I, you know, I don't re- really remember that movie, but yeah, I'd have to rewatch um, it. But they said that she's like in a smaller part. This is like her main yeah. like a big role for this one. But Fe- what I did say Fe- off my role yeah. was uh, forgive me for being a, a pig, but she has a very nice breast. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like that. Right. Um, we agree. We, we agreed on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Two thumbs up from right. uh, Cecil Greenberg. Right. Um. Right. Yeah. And so, uh, let's see. go ahead. Yeah. So uh, I was just going to read the little synopsis and that'll kind of like help us like get into it. So it's Billy Clark is 20 years old. Billy Clark is played by Karen Manny, very pretty and without a care in the world until a brutal street gang violates her life. And she turns into an alley cat bent on revenge. When the gang attacks her grandparents' house, Billy uses her black belt prowess to fight them off. But at the same time, she earns the, their hatred and she and her grandparents are marked for vengeance. When her grandparents lose their lives to brutal thugs, Billy becomes like a cat stalking her prey and no prison or police force can get in the way of her avenging claws. She's a one woman vigilante squad, a martial arts queen, a crack shot with no mercy. She's the alley cat. It's a good synopsis. It almost it doesn't give away too much, but it sucks with the name of it. Like you tell anybody, go see alley cat and they're going to go. What is that? Like Aristocats? Like what? (laughs) And you're like, no, no, it's alley cat. And it, I don't know what I would have titled it, but, you know, what know. was cool about this, I don't know if you want to get into it yet, was the way it starts. Like, I thought, I thought like any revenge matic they're yes. going to, they're trying to steal the wheels off of her car. She's going to go down there. She's going to get her ass kicked. And then she's going right. to go train like fucking, you know, the man with no name and fistful of dollars. And then she'll come back right. and kill everyone. But instead, no, she's prepared. She's kicks ass. Like you said, she's got a black belt. That's you know. right. That's really what sets this one apart, because yeah. like, as we know, in most re- revenge of medics, there's some tra- traumatic incident. And the person usually isn't like uh, trained in any special. They're usually just a normal average person. Yeah. And then after the traumatic event, then they train in whatever, 
you know, weapons or karate or, you know, whatever it is, kung fu. Yeah, yeah. And then they go get their revenge. But with this Billy character, she's already like a karate expert. So it's like when the first guys show up and steal her hubcaps, she kicks her ass. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, you know, it's like we're right into the movie already, which is yeah. that was they, interesting because it was just go, different. Than yeah. And they ones. go running yeah. off and you're just like, OK, yeah. like now what? You right. So she kicked their ass and she already won the whole thing. Yeah. And it's insane because like you and I said, this was the 80s. And I don't know yeah. if things have changed. Like yeah. if you're saying New York, yeah. I get it. Like not. Uh, whoever the yeah. mayor was of New York who cleaned up everything and got rid of the sex shop. Mayor Koch. And, I don't know yeah. who it was. Uh, yeah, one of those. Got rid of all the sex shops <laughs> and all that and made it clean. And I think that's yep. why they got rid of the grindhouses and all this. But right. the the but like the warriors and shit like that, where you're like, mm -hmm. like I told you last yeah. time when we did it, was like yeah. that that gang and that vengeance was like uh what was the movie that we watched before vigilante the vigilante, vigilante movie was yeah. like you're yep. like oh shit like i don't want to run into these this is the same thing like i'm like i'm like right. oh fuck but then she kicks her ass and you're thugs. almost like don't go right. out there by yourself like you're changing putting on your shoes and gonna run out there and kick their ass no wait a minute right but what was but cool, there's no like yeah yeah go ahead. You, you were just uh, about the actors some of these guys, I was even watching Chicago PD with the wife before we started recording. Yeah. And some of these yeah. guys who are on just for like a small little role of some thug in the thing and he's being questioned. Yeah. And you're like, this actor is mm -hmm. really cool. Like, I wonder. Right. What Very charismatic does. or whatever. Yeah. 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 And so this guy who played Scarface, I was like, oh, yeah. I, I this guy looks familiar. Michael like, Wayne, his him? name was. And you look yeah. him up and he hasn't been in anything else. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't. Was, I have never seen any of these people like, before. He was cool yeah. and creepy. And I love it. And yeah. And just like for his. Acting, they don't call him Scarface in the movie. I noticed. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah. His name is Phil, isn't it? His name yeah, is Phil something or something. Like He's like, yeah. hey, Phil, I'm this yeah. girl is causing <laughs> trouble and we're going to go <laughs> get yeah, her. He's like, gonna, go yeah. take it. He she, goes, he goes, this girl's a real tiger. And he goes, well, when we get done with this tiger, she's just going to be an alley cat or something like that. Yeah, I thought that yeah. was just a good little line. There's some good little lines in the movie like that. Yeah, exactly. Well, and the thing of like him being like, oh, she beat you up, really? Like, yeah. go back and fucking, yeah. you know, deal yeah, with it. Yeah, he just like, like oh, yeah. yeah, go, right. Yeah. Some little girl, like some little, you know, kicked their ass. But yeah, but I mean, the, the whole movie is like, like we were saying, it's like, it's paced really well, but there's not a ton. It's it's not one of those movies like that goes too far with any of the action or violence or anything. It yeah. kind of just kind of stays on like a certain level. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I wish it could have gone even further with that stuff. You know what I mean? It's not like a Miss 40. There's like there's no rape stuff really going yeah, on yeah. or anything yeah. like and that. The, but the fights that are type of stuff. They put a little different good into the different yeah. fights, but it's still yeah. a little bit of kicking and flipping. And then that guy's like, oh, I'm out. That's it. Know, and whatever. that's it. He falls down. Yeah. And, and I, another thing I thought was funny about this movie was there's no like like in Death Wish when you watch like he actually makes like like a makes like a like a re, he makes like a um like a, an, a decision to go out in the night and like get right. back yeah. at like, you know, all the criminals and stuff. But in this movie, you don't she doesn't really like consciously yeah show yeah, her she, decision to she you just see she just goes out and runs at night and yeah. you're like is she running at night because these guys are gonna yeah, she knows these guys are gonna out. like come up yeah. to her or is she yeah. like or is it just like a like coincidence that they're like these like guys are like running out of the woods saying hey you want to go out on a date tonight like it was just really <laughs> funny like the way they did that i just well, thought it was cool and funny and, and i yeah <laughs> i think that for they didn't really explain it that way but yeah i think that first run yeah. was her just jogging and then the second yeah, one yeah. was okay i'm gonna draw them out <laughs> but what was funny yeah, is she I meets that so. she meets that cop guy and yeah, then the cop. he's like, Hey, I'm gonna go do karate. You wanna go join me? And she's like, sure. Mm -hmm. And it's so funny because yep. she's wearing the brown belt or the white belt that a yep. new person uses. And then mm -hmm. she kicks his ass, and then her <laughs> yeah, instructor right. walks over <laughs> and pulls out the black belt that is hers and puts it on. I don't even remember that. That's funny. Yeah, that's and the, that guy, was a good and the cop detail. like looks at her like, Oh shit, like I guess yeah. you do know your right. shit, you know. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, it's like the these guys are like so like, yeah, that one main guy is like running the whole show, talking bad to his girlfriend. Yeah. And she's just right. like, you know, screw you. Those and are some like, funny little lines still with too. him. <laughs> yeah, just back and forth. But yeah. Um, but yeah, I gave you the just, clap or whatever she said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, now you got the clap. And he's like, ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> and yeah. then they cut to the next scene. <laughs> 
And then I just thought her, that was funny, those little moments. And her beating them up, it, which is always great. Yeah. But but then they go to court, yeah. which is weird that it was another right. court moment. It was another, you know, that, you know, you didn't plan yeah, this. Those, but on Vigilante, yeah. he did the court thing. That, and yeah, he, that's, that's right. There's know, another yeah. court moment in there. And yeah, there yeah. Was a, but and in this gets, one, they like... They, the the other side like bribes the judge or something or I forget what exactly yeah, yeah, what, yeah. The what other they did but that yeah but the 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 guys get off or something and then she oh, she bursts out in court and and she kind of does what Robert Forster did in yeah. the other movie she's yeah. like yelling back at him like saying you know you son of a bitch or whatever yeah. she said and then she's like she's like contempt of court and they send her to yeah prison because and it's like you know women in prison movie and because it's that thing of which of course gets you riled in the theater yeah I hope she gets her yeah. revenge. Because it's a thing of she's like, so it's kind of like people say, like, if if it's attempted murder or you did something like, then that's going to be this many years. So if I would have let them kill me, then they'd be in jail longer, you know, or whatever. Right. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I explaining it right, but it's like (laughs) that where where she's pretty much getting angry at them and like, okay, you like, what am I supposed to do? And they're like, well, you had a gun. Right. You shouldn't have had a gun. You didn't have it. You know, right. that cop being rude to her. Right. Like we said, that was a thing back in the 80s yeah. of like the mean yeah. cops who don't get it. And then you have it's to good go. Cop, it was good cop, bad cop in this yeah. movie. Because the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the one cop is like really mean to her and stuff like the, And then the and, other cop is obviously she falls in love with the other cop. Johnny, the, I think his name is. The good cop then, did you know, look familiar, yeah, yeah. but I couldn't think of yeah. what he was from. Yeah. But he did look very fair. He it? looked like no, he looked like somebody. Dang it. Now I can't think of it. I'm but like, he looked, oh yeah, this here's Richard Marx again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty <laughs> this much. This is Richard Marx. Like, oh yeah. Sing me a <laughs> that song. I was like, yeah. okay. Right here waiting. <laughs> so it was like <laughs> so yeah, so so that that then another part that I thought was interesting was like those those two guys are fighting each other. So like, you know, the bad cop guy is like, you're you you should tell your girlfriend not to be so stupid or something like that. And yeah. They get into this big fight in the garage and that was like yeah. a good little little action sequence. <laughs> that, I'm like the guy's shooting his gun at him like yeah, over this. Was, I'm like I couldn't believe it. It was really cool hitting him that with was crazy. the with the yeah. uh, with the garbage yeah. cans and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but um, shooting his gun like he's like was, firing his gun at yeah, this guy like at his feet. Like, yeah, it was a good fight. Nuts. Because yeah. It was all over. It was probably yeah. the best fight of the whole thing. Everybody yeah, that was a good one flipped. But that was probably the best right. one because it was so different. That was almost like and a real were like, like a real fight. Yeah. You were like, this is in the yeah. parking garage of the court. House, like, <laughs> yeah, nobody, it was like that was a lot like of people funny. I was down. like, yeah, there's no cops around at all. It's just those two, like you know, taking like beating the crap out of each other. But that's <laughs> the thing with yeah. these grindhouse movies that that yeah, I told you I wanted right. to get to. Kind of like, what yeah. is it? Why can't we make these now? Like now, everybody wants these Marvel movies, so you spend yeah, all this money. Yeah, 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 like spend money on making like a regular. Like, did you see the hunt? Uh, where yeah. the rich people are hunting the, you know, I, I've like heard of it, but I Republic mean, Republic. yeah, it's really good. But yeah. that was one, or like I mentioned, Becky to you uh, off mic, yeah, which was yeah. this one with uh, Kevin James, and he's like a bad uh-huh. guy, and he invades this house, right. and this girl, yeah, the only one left, and she's like thirteen, and she has to fight back. So it's like Home Alone, but rated yeah. R, and it's really fun. Well, the really one cool. I really liked, yeah. The one I really liked, I don't, I don't know if you saw it. Did you see Nobody with, uh, with, yes. um, um, yeah, Bob yeah. Odenkirk? That's yeah. sort of like, like that's that would be sort of like a modern version of a grindhouse movie for me. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. It's not like anything. There's not no the, the well, effects aren't. Even, it's not all based on CGI. It's not like a superhero yeah, movie, but it's a, it's more like a vigilante, like you know, revenge matic type film. Even like, re- of this rem- style, you know. Yeah, exactly. Remember they did that one. It was. I really so, loved that was, one. They were kind of doing like a black exploitation. It was uh, black dynamite or something. It was no, or no, no, some it, other no. One. This was more where it was, um, it was called uh, Proud Mary. Oh and, yeah, yeah. With uh, what's her face? With uh, yeah, um, Taraji P Empire. Henson or something. Yes. Taraji P Henson. Yes. Yeah, I, I I never saw that, but I heard of it, and I it, saw it that sort in of the like, theater, yeah. and it was fun. Uh, yeah, but it's one yeah. of those where more of these kind of underlying. You know, why don't yeah. more of these come out? But now everybody yeah, says like, well, nobody will go to the theater. We need to bring them with the big thing. And some people say yeah. it's 75 that, you know, when Jaws came out, that made everybody go, Changed wait, we can make everything. these big blockbusters. Yeah, right. 
It's, but, I don't know. I, you know, I don't, I think a lot of times it's not what they do. It's how they do it. Like yeah. you can do, you can still do these, like you could yeah. make a Western now. And if someone yeah. made it and it was really like, yeah, it had like, like a certain uh, style or something, it would catch on with everyone, but not, like hostages, not everything. Like, I think. Is, Wasn't you know, that the yeah. one with Christian Bale? Hostages. It was like a Western. It was like really cool. I, I don't. I, I think so. I, or even I, on I, saw, I heard of it. I didn't see it. Or on Netflix, yeah. the harder they fall. Like that was really good. You know. Yeah. Um, I didn't see that. But, that. Oh, yeah. you need to check it out. Um, if yeah. you have Netflix. Um, but yeah, yeah it's very it, it's, hit and mess with like the modern. These, these movies stuff. are really good and really cool. Yeah. And I get where some yeah. people are like, like I haven't seen it yet, but uh, Mr. No Legs. I think is the name of it. Mr. No, yeah, I've, yeah. I, I didn't see and, that either, actually. I've, I've heard of it, though. I just movies, haven't gotten around to it. There's movies like that that are cheesy, but that they're yeah. fun to watch. And then yeah. there's ones like on the show, on my show that I do, Making Tarantino, me and my cousin, is the thing of, yeah. I look at it like, because you have to realize when Quentin went to the theater or even people watching yeah. these movies go to the theater yeah. and they're like, yeah you know oh you got to see where this girl she gets fucking wheels are taken she puts on her clothes and her sneakers yeah. runs out there and kicks her ass you gotta <laughs> see it you know or like you know rolling thunder yeah. you gotta see this guy like sharpening his thing cutting off his shotgun he goes <laughs> and kills everybody you know go see it because you can't just right. well like my wife said the other day we found out cocaine bear this morning found out is coming out on the 14th on peacock yep and i'm like yeah. and she goes see that's why we didn't pay 30 bucks to buy it a week ago right because it's coming out yeah. soon but that's the thing back uh -huh. then you couldn't you didn't know when this movie that's kind yeah. of an under the radar movie right. like alley cat when's it coming yeah. when it's coming out and you're like no yeah, it's got there was this no really like, cool bad guy no. you got to see this bad guy if you're into acting yeah. you got to see this guy you know or yeah. even you know the next one we're gonna do it's Right. You know, and so that guy reminded me a little of John Philip Law for some reason. He reminded me of like yeah. a sleazy John Philip Law guy yeah, yeah. for some reason. If you watch and, the movie, you'll be like, you kind of reminds me of him. And also yeah. a little bit of uh, the guy that we talked about that was in Vigilante from Maniac, that guy. Like it reminded oh, uh, me of Joe him. Spanell. Joe yeah, Spanell. Yeah, he was kind like, of like a sleazy guy. Just being weird. Yeah. But right. But yeah, it's it's those things where you would see these movies and then be like, I got to go and see that part again. You know, right. so I'm going to pay the three bucks yeah, yeah. to go see it or take some friends like, let's go see it, you know. So, yeah, I don't even think I mean, I guess the, these this was on VHS back in the mm -hmm. day. But I never saw yeah. it. But I mean, you know, back when the, the you know, yeah, in the 80s. Like, but yeah, yeah, you know, it was made, more like yeah. you had to go see, actually go see the movie again. Like yeah. you would you wouldn't go buy the VHS or something. Yeah. You just, you know, you'd have to like wait for it to. Yeah, come exactly. out of VHS, well, but. and even when I remember. I'm 51. So I remember we went yeah. to the, we had a beta machine. So when we oh, went really? to the, oh. when we went to the video store, I was like, Oh, look, let's get this. And then they were like, <laughs> does it have an orange sticker? And I'm like, no. And they're like, right. that's VHS. We have to get the beta. So we had to go and get one with an orange <laughs> sticker. Like you know, they had some beta. good ones. I don't on even there, think I watched the, beta. <laughs> but the main ones were yeah. like, well, and beta is supposed to be like yeah. a master tape like you know wasn't beta like a smaller tape too it was like it was, a smaller yeah, it, it was stubby and fat but it was like you yeah know, supposed to be right. better but yeah, then yeah. they just said vhs is cheaper yeah. to do but right it's yep. that thing of yeah you don't know when it's coming out you know at least yeah. then i was working at suncoast when like videos started becoming like when they weren't oh, 90 yeah. bucks to buy my buddy bought right. vampire Hunter that's where i used to buy all my stuff there bucks yeah and then it started yep. being, oh, they have Aladdin for 20 bucks. They have, you know, right. uh, Lion King or, you know, Star Wars. I whatever. think that's where I actually first used to my I, when I first started buying VHS. That's where I used to go. Suncoast. Yeah. yeah. And so and it's back in the, in the 90s. It's where you wouldn't know. It was it's also back to the thing of uh, this became a two old guys podcast talking about the old times. But mm -hmm. it became that thing of yeah. the hunt, the hunt for the video. Yeah, it's just like this. If you saw oh, yeah, the yeah, Grindhouse, right. you may there may be some of these movies that you've heard that are like it's finally being released by Vinegar Syndrome or something where it's never been. Yeah, and I had before. I have I had that happen with me for, with uh, Street Fighter, the Street Fighter movies, because I was for years I was looking for those after I saw 
True Romance. I wanted yeah. to see the Sonny Chiba movies. Yeah. And like, I finally, they finally came out on VHS in like two, I don't know when it was, 2000 yeah. or Somewhere, 19. Like I don't know. It was 90s. earlier yeah. than that. It was, yeah, it was yeah. like the late nineties. And I, and I yeah. got those and that was like such an awesome thing to find. I was like, oh, yeah. these are, this is exactly what I was looking for. Well, and that's the same thing. John Woo yeah. movies. Like I want to find yeah. the old Hong Kong John right. Woo movies. All I can find is like hard boiled and all iTunes, those. Yeah. iTunes, I, I have hard boiled and the killer is available, yeah. but like, you know, yeah. uh, better tomorrow one is available on iTunes for yeah. 20 bucks. Better tomorrow two, you can't yeah. find. Like you gotta hunt for it. Yeah. You know, and right. you know, hope that it's not a copy of a copy of a copy. But that was right. my, exactly. my my thing was just these movies, you never knew when they were gonna come out. It was a fun experience right. more than what we said. Like yes. you go see one of these new ones now and you're like, Oh, it's all CGI. Like what the hell? You know. Unless right. it's Avatar. Yeah, there was like, just a okay, different that took it was a just a different work. time. Yeah. And I always yeah. feel like, you know, the the people like maybe look down on Grindhouse movies a lot, but I, I always feel like if they made these movies on like no budget and they still mm-hmm. entertained audiences, yeah. that's yeah. kind of like a good thing for that to that makes them like look good to me. I mean, yeah. you know what I mean? That's like well, a, like yeah, a and, good score and, for them. And people listening are going to be like, no, we love Grindhouse yeah. uh, movies. And then the other yeah. thing of where like they people like actors will say, we don't, we don't put out to make a bad movie. We don't try to make a bad movie. Right. We try to make a good movie. Right. And it's like, right. um, I forget what actor I just listened to recently that was saying like, yeah, I've been on a movie where it might've been Jamie Foxx, but if you're on a, it wasn't Jamie Foxx, somebody else. But anyway, mm-hmm. if the movie, if you can tell, you can tell from the way it is, like either the director doesn't have it or you can't get the right. tone. There's something off yep. and you know that, oh, this movie's going to be bad. And it's a bad feeling right. to have that. And then there's ones that you're there True. and everybody's yeah. having a good time. And that's these things yes. with these little movies of like Sid Haig and Pam Greer hanging out, singing, you know, church hymns <laughs> yeah, to I each other that. before they start filming. Yeah. Like, because they're yeah, like, hey, little, huh? we're in, we're in Taiwan filming, so, you know, or wherever they are, Philippines filming a movie and let's filming the big bird cage yeah and <laughs> yeah. and they're having fun yeah. with it and there's brutal stuff that goes on where you're like oh how was that done and then you watch whatever yeah, yeah. the the fascist thing where ilsa's like the girl that played ilsa the, the ss diane thorne yeah she's yeah. like she's like we had fun and i meet people all the time that love it and you know and the other actors enjoyed it you know everybody was having a good time so yeah, that's the big. Yeah, it's really thing. about yeah, it's really about like you know the you can make a low budget movie and have it be like really entertaining. And that's there's no I mean that's happens a lot with these movies. It's, you can you watch a lot of them and they're they're pretty damn good for like you know no budget yeah. and you know the people are the p- people put all their energy in into it and yeah. it's you know yeah, some of them are better than others. But then yeah. Hollywood movies, there's some of them are better than others and they're not that great. You can make a two hundred million dollar flop and you know just like you yeah. can make a you know. Eight hundred thousand dollar flop. I don't know. Yeah, I've never really been like prejudiced against that type of stuff. Yeah, so. you just got to go with so. what your heart says. Like, let's right. just make this movie and have fun, right. you know, and right. get everybody the same minded right. on board. But yes, I'm sorry right. that I went off on a tangent. getting back to the movie. One yeah. thing I noticed. Oh yeah, that's no no problem. That was good. But I, I was wondering. It was interesting. I was watching the movie and like I noticed it didn't have like a normal score either this one because it almost sounded like a 70s movie and i found out that all the tracks are just all separate movie like from like the like oh, library wow. scores they're not like wow. it's not like an actual i think the main theme of the movie was was the only thing in it the only original part of the music but all the other stuff like i found the i found an actual track that i was that i yeah. i knew i had heard somewhere and it's called oh. It's called Acquittal by David Lindup. If you if you can find it online, uh-huh. you can play the song. You'll be like, oh yeah, that's the that's the it's right at the very beginning when that guy goes in the garage. It has like uh-huh. that weird like suspense music. Oh yeah. If you if you play that, you'll be like, oh yeah, that's it. It's it's just some like random like library score, like which wow. is I just thought that was weird the way they did it. I didn't know why they didn't have like a real score. I guess it was well, budgetary, I guess. And budget for problems me, or something. For me though, it didn't yeah. stand out. It seemed to work yeah. like we we're talking off mic. I'm sorry. It did work pretty, work pretty stuff. good, but yeah, but yeah. The movie Fair Game yeah. has this guitar thing going on, this yeah. rock and roll guitar yeah. thing that pulls me yeah. out. I'm like, tone it down or something. Like, oh, I would does. really love that. Yeah, the, movie t- the tone is too high. If that music wasn't, if it there, had a like, different score. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 like it takes away from like the suspense or something like it. Yeah. Like, you know, what I mean, it would probably be even better. Like you were saying, without something so loud and like, like, you know, yeah, just, bl- blaring at you. Like, yeah, it, like the it, yeah, it like, takes away that feeling. But this one, right. it, it seemed OK. I didn't notice that, but you did because you've seen yeah. more of these than I have. And you're like, wait a minute. I know right. that song yeah. or. It's like I remember speaking to that. I remember watching Dynamite Brothers yep. or one of those kung fu movies. Oh, yeah. And they yep. go to chase each other. And when they get in a car to go chase, uh, Live and Let Die starts playing. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, how did they get oh, yeah, the rights to Live and see, Let that Die? That was, yeah. Well, that was, a, that was a common thing. And I was going to, another thing I was going to say about that in the score was this, this one's almost scored like a, like an old school kung fu film because they would, mm-hmm. what they would do is they'd take scores from other movies. Yeah. So you'll be watching like a Bruce Bloitation movie and like you'll hear the theme from Rocky or something playing <laughs> yeah. or a theme from like a spaghetti western playing. So yeah. that was like, a, that was sort of like the way this one was done, which I thought was interesting. Yeah. I guess the, a lot of these, the guys that did it were like Filipino or something. Like yeah. It started out as a Filipino movie and then they moved over to Los Angeles or something like that, I read. But it, it was, was just interesting. So you notice like that that, that style. I really, I really yeah. enjoyed it. It was good. I thought the girl yeah, did it was good, good. Yeah. but I wish she was in a little yeah. more. Like I can see where she's not going to take yeah. off, but right. yeah, I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was, uh, it was, I thought it was a good it, movie. Hitting but... the cop with the door, breaking his nose almost like, you know. Yeah, that was good. And that was like, a, that was how they met, like at the very beginning, right? When they. Yeah, just, yeah, oh. yeah. And the <laughs> he's gra- like, oh, you want to go on a date, by the way? <laughs> and like you said, yeah. attacking Something the grandma like and the grandpa and like, yeah. Yeah. Like, oof. But it's like, but like what I was saying, like I, I, I'll, I'll give it a, like a, like I, I said, I liked it and everything, but. I just felt like it could have gone further with everything. Like it could have had yeah. bet- a little bit more fighting, yeah. some more right, like right. violence. Like, cause some like we more... were saying, it doesn't have any real traumatic, like, you know, the only, the traumatic part of the thing is her, her, her grandmother gets stabbed uh, and that's kind of like what, and then she dies and that's kind of what drives yeah. her to be like a, a vigilante, but this... it does, it's the way it's done. It's not like super impactful or anything like, you know what yeah. I mean? It's not, this just it's not came so... to me. It's like John Wick. Yeah. Where John Wick is not yeah. getting hurt. You know, he's getting hurt a little bit through his movies. Yeah. But she's like that. Like right. she, it's not like John Wick. Doesn't like, really get hurt at all. Actually, She has these skills. Yeah. She's never yeah. like yeah. hurt. They don't break her arm or rape right. her or do something. And she doesn't, she doesn't have, her. yeah, she doesn't have that thing where she has to come back in the third act. Like she's, yeah. or she's just kind of like the same way all the way through the movie. Yeah. There's no yeah. like. You know, like she doesn't lose anybody and then, oh, she has to like build herself back up again or something. Even, or they don't like attack her and beat her up or, and she has to like get back to normal. She's just sort of like yeah. the same way through the whole film, which is yeah. different. It's probably not as good as it, it could have been if yeah, they had like, added something like, like that. I like think. Uh, coffee where they is it coffee or Foxy yeah. Brown. I always right. forget the one where they give her yeah. drugs. They tire to the bed. Yeah, that's Foxy Brown. That's what I mean. Out, that type and of then she idea. Gets out. Like, right, right, right. That's okay. That's yeah. what we need. Then she goes and right. comes back, and you're like, oh shit. She breaks free, and yeah. then she gets back. Then she yeah. gets the revenge. But and there was so, nothing like that in this. Yeah, movie, it, so. I never thought about yeah. that watching it, but now that you say that, yes, yeah. for sure. Yeah, I. Yeah. And, and I'm. With and also, you. even the bad guys weren't very. Yeah, the bad. Even the bad guys weren't very like. You know, they weren't like real super tough or anything. Yeah. They were kind of like she just kicked their asses. Was, she, I think she like at one point she like drives over to their house and like goes into their yard and like the guys yeah. are, like having like a beer and she's like, "What do you?" You know, like she just goes up and like kicks <laughs> yeah. their butts and they're, like, "What the hell happened?" Like it was just yeah. it was just kind of funny the way they yeah. thought that did that. I was like, "They're yeah, all drinking." That was different. Like, you know? yeah, they're all drinking <laughs> Am's beer. Yeah, it's the. Thing she's like, "What of... are you doing here?" She's like, she's like driving around looking for him or something. That, yeah, that was that, funny. Uh, oh, I lost my thought. I forgot what I was going to, but <laughs> yeah, that she just, yeah. it's the thing that, yeah, yeah. it's, it's nothing. <laughs> it's not. Oh yeah, yeah. I know what I was going to say. It's like the beginning, the normal thing. If she was Bruce Lee, yeah. the beginning of enter the dragon. Yeah. And all these guys were the yeah. guys that fight Bruce Lee in the beginning of enter the dragon. That's what they were. They right. were just white shirts that are being flipped over. Yeah. You know, maybe you go, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. wait, that's Sam yep. Hung. Oh, wait, that's Jackie Chan. But yeah. other than that, Jackie they're Chan, just, <laughs> they're just guys yeah. being flipped over. Right. And so, right. yeah, but but they had different fights and it was funny where you'd laugh yeah. about how somebody might like pass out or whatever. That's still funny. Yeah. And I think yeah. even like I watch it like I was telling my co-host on making Tarantino, I talk to the movie. Mm-hmm. So I'll be like, I'll be like, oh, yeah. shit. 
now you're getting it. <laughs> talking back to the movie. <laughs> yeah. And then when they get knocked yeah. out or something, I'm like, I laugh because they die funny or they knock out funny, you know? Yeah. And so, but just, <laughs> and I think even back then yeah. in, in 84, they were like laughing about, Oh, this is yeah. fun. Like, and, and that's the other yeah. thing where it, it is where you, you got to watch it with people. Like I, I was listening to a podcast mm-hmm. recently where some guys were talking about the unbearable weight of massive talent. And they were like, I oh, didn't yeah. get it. This part was supposed to be like him being a thespian and being in disguise, but he was horrible yeah. accent. I didn't think it was funny. I thought it was bad. They should have got rid of that. And I'm like, no, yeah. me and my cousin, he came here to visit. We saw it in the theater and everybody mm-hmm. was laughing at all the right moments. Really? And it made the movie even better, which is in a that's in what a way, you want. I mean, a bad thing because you then you it. get out yeah. and you're like, I got to buy that movie. That's going to be great. I got to yeah. buy it. And you watch it at home. Right. And it was still good. But there was something about like people say that right that experience in the, the theatrical experience yeah. with the people. Yeah. Uh, the and, commu- or, the or communal even, experience. With or the even people. you come over and we yeah. drink some beers and we watch Alley Cat. And right. we're having a hell of a good time and we're right. watching them beat up people. Right. So, yeah. That, right. And I mean, that's, that's what you that's what you wanted. I'm sure yeah. I'm, and I'm sure when people went to see this, they had a good time yeah. watching it. I, I'm, I, I think it's what I'm where I'm coming from is I've seen so many of these movies now. I'm kind of yeah. thinking about it like in an analytical sense. Like I'm not yeah. like yeah. Ta- I'm I'm, ta- I'm talking to the people that have seen that that are into all these movies and, they you know, they yeah. know all this stuff and they, they're trying to get the, you know, the bottom line from someone that knows all this. Yeah. Yeah. This if they're of, like, should we watch cinema, Alley Cat? You know what I mean, you're like, yeah, and but, you're but like, I would. Yeah, it's no Death Wish. It's, it's you know, no if Rolling you've seen. D- yeah, it's no Miss yeah. 45 or whatever, yeah. you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's all yeah, I'm yeah. saying. But I mean, as far as like a, a generally entertaining movie, I'd say, yeah, it was gen- it was it was entertaining. Yeah. And I liked, you know, I'm just being like, you know, critical about the stuff, you know, that I think yeah. could have been better or something. No, and but, I mean, and it was I get perfectly that fine for a low me, budget movie with me, even yeah. on on my show. But even watching these for you. Yeah. Where I'll be like. I look at it yep. like, okay, it's 84. I'm going to see this movie and yep. I'm seeing it for the first mm-hmm. time. Like if it's something that you yep. hear about, then just get rid of all that and be like, no, I'm going to go in fresh. Right. Like, I don't even know, you know, right. Like, I just know that this right. is called exactly. Alley Cat and it's a revenge matic and that's it. Yeah. You want to, you want to let it like a surprise you or whatever, let you down or surprise yeah, you. Yeah, you just yeah. go with but, it and just go with but it. But I can get you know that too, movie. where you're, where, yeah. Yeah. Where yes, it's also like, but it's not this. Yeah. Like so so if right if you're here, don't you check out Alley Cat <laughs> way down the road. Like maybe make that yeah. your eighteenth right. choice before yeah. you watch or watch you know. like watch it with something else. Watch it like a double feature of yeah. like Death Wish and Alley Cat and like see if you go, Oh yeah, he's exactly I, I yeah. totally disagree with him on that. That's, yeah, yeah, it should, yeah. It's way better than Death Wish. You'll you'll know what I'm saying if you yeah, watch yeah. you know. Yeah. A yeah, because revenge movie with it. Because now like, that oh, you yeah, should have done this or, you know, that really makes it. me think now, because yeah. I don't know, yeah. you know, kudos to them for doing that, but also bad of them to do that. Yeah. Because what other movie has yeah. where somebody just fights? Like we said, even even uh, John Wick gets hurt, gets shot, right. gets, yeah. you know, bruised right. or whatever. She yeah, doesn't Alley get Cat hurt doesn't get hurt really. And what other Grindhouse <laughs> movie? Good. You know, I've seen some. I haven't seen yeah. maybe as many as you. But what other yeah. movie does that? Where they just yeah. walk through the film and they're like, they okay, just get we're through good. it. Kicked yeah, I mean, out. really, nothing happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it was yeah. that's kind of cool in a way, but at yeah. the same time, it like you know, you want to. I don't. I don't know what you just. I just wanted more like. Violent. I don't know what I wanted from it. Just yeah, more, a little yeah, bit yeah. more of like more more shock or something from it. I like think a it's little like you more said, shock. You need, so you it wasn't that, just so like it needs that hero's journey. You yeah. need that. You know. Yeah, it needs more of a hero dollars, journey, like some the, type of like the death wish. Yeah. You know. Right when he um, gets beat up or something in yeah. Fistful of Dogs. But even but even but, then. But overall, death I wish, thought it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah death wish yeah. had that yeah. though, where he's fine, but his family was killed and raped. Yeah, so it's like you know. Right. You know, I think they're going, well, let's go. And you really here, felt it like, in that, too. I thought you yeah. need something else. You know, yeah. you either need to really set up like or, John or, Wick, how or bad another, she is. Right. And then go through. You know something. what? You know what movie I always measure? Yeah. You know what movie I always measure it for? Measure it to is uh, Death Wish 3, because in that movie, like the whole movie is just like 
the filled with these punks that are just like terrorizing everybody. Yeah. And like, yeah. you, you're like, you, you got to get back at these guys. And like, you know, he finally <laughs> yeah, does yeah, get back. Yeah. You really feel it like, cause they're just terrorizing everybody. Now in alley cat, there really isn't that they're just kind of yeah. like stealing hubcaps or like, yeah. you know, yeah, beating up so, like someone st- walking down the street or something. It's, it's nothing yeah. like real heavy stuff. Like it's pretty lightweight stuff as far as like vigilante movies goes for me. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> it no, was still pretty fun. I mean, it was a good little, you know, Saturday night movie to watch. Like, you know, just, yeah, you know, I, I Karen it, Manny was good. She was like a good little actress. I give it three and yeah. a half. But after this next movie, maybe I should give it yeah. three. And after what you yeah. said now, it really makes <laughs> yeah, me. You were saying it was yeah. good. It was yeah. done with a good quality. Yeah. But maybe, yeah, drop it down yeah. to three. I have to go back into my letterbox and move it down to three. I think yeah. you talked me into it. I'm going right. to move it down to three. Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, you got to, you know, you just have to, I have to like think about stuff when, I, you know, we have to think about it so, and like try to like so, decide what, you know, you're like, we were, we were saying you're like measuring it, like, like, like we were talking about letterboxed. I just thought this was interesting to think about. You're mm-hmm. watching like Alley Cat, you know, yeah. one night and yeah. you give it like four stars. Then you watch Citizen Kane and you give that five stars. Okay, yeah. so that's one star away from Citizen. It just doesn't. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why they find yeah. the star thing kind of screwed up in a way. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So it's like it's yeah. almost like they should have subgenres it's, of like stars, like have yeah, like yeah. five it's, stars in revenge films yeah. or right, five stars have, in like, you yeah. know. Yeah. Vampire <laughs> you know what I'm movies? saying? That type of thing. I don't yeah. know. It's just yeah, fun. Yeah, it should. Yeah. Five stars yeah, for a vampire movie or genres. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, is this sure. count your count Yorga five? You know, five, count yeah. Yorga level, yeah. or is it you know, or is it um, you know, um, Hammer Horror level? You know, whatever. whatever yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, just it's different like, levels of stuff here. But yeah, uh, it's, yeah, no, I don't that's know. that's that's another whole what uh, story. So what would you give it? Let's say <laughs> but, uh, out of your yeah. five, if you had a five. Would well, you if I, see the thing is, I'd have to. I, I, I'm going with just like measuring it against other like revenge yeah, yeah. films or something. Yeah. So I would give it like probably like three or something, maybe. Okay. If I was like, because if de- say like Death Wish is four or five, then I'd give right, this right. probably like three yeah, or yeah. something, maybe two yeah, or yeah. three. Yeah. Or if Miss Forty Five is like a five, I'd give that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I yeah, can't yeah, measure yeah. it again in, in that yeah. way. It's just doesn't I was make just sense. Wondering like, if I was still too high and yeah. how low. If you were yeah. like, no, this is a one, yeah. like or a two. But it was still fun and it was no, still no. good. It's so, better yeah. than that. Yeah, I thought I it was pretty good for a low budget movie, and it and had way, enough going on in it where, like, you know what I mean. So yeah, and the way I yeah. look at it is two and a half yeah. would be it was okay, it was good, it was whatever. Yeah, you, you don't want to use good, excellent. Three whatever, is, but but two and a half is right in the yeah. middle. Was it right in the middle? It's a yeah. little better than average. Okay, let's give it a three. That's yeah. how I look at it. I guess I'll go with three then too. Yeah. I'll go with three then too because yeah. that makes sense the way you're describing it. So, yeah. Okay, so you want to go on to the next film now? Yes, okay. I can't wait. So excited. So the next, the so next good. film, yeah, the next film is, the next film is Mark L. Lester's Class of 1984, and that came out in 1982, and uh, it premiered on August 20th in the United States, and that's my birthday, by the way. <laughs> oh, so it was on cool. my birthday in 1982. And, Mine's um, August twenty sixth, and uh, I just wanted to read a cool. So we're both in in that year, that month. So yeah, yeah. I just wanted to read a little uh, excerpt from Roger Ebert's review of the movie, which I was surprised to find out that he really liked it. Oh, but cool. this is what he wrote back when he reviewed it. He wrote, he wrote, "Class of nineteen eighty four has received some really savage criticism. Newsweek called class of called it class of nineteen eighty two with herpes. What does that mean? I don't know." I guess it means the critic found the movie so hateful that it wasn't worth anything more than cheap wisecracks. But unless we're, we can accept talent wherever we find it in the movies, and especially in smaller genre movies without big stars, we're going to be left with nothing but overpriced lead bl- lead balloons and delicate little ex- exercises in sensibility. Class of 1984 is raw, offensive, vulgar, and violent, but it contains the sparks of talent and wit, and it is act- acted and directed by people who cared to make it special. I thought that was a pretty good little review. That's yeah, it's well that said, Roger Ebert. I mean, that was a right, nice little yeah. positive review. He was one of the best for a reason, and he didn't yeah. love all exploitation movies either. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like he, no, like I was, was, I was, I had this problem because he, I was just going to bring up after reading that I was going to bring up he he hated I Spit on Your Grave, but then he loved uh, Last House on the Left. Now, for me, That's I find cool. those both about the same level as far as bad, you know terrible like content go they're both yeah. pretty terrible i mean you know i like the movies but i well, mean they're both as, as far as offensive stuff goes so he well, 
Now, someone also brought up that the reason he liked Last House on the Left was because it was based on on Bergman's The Virgin Spring. I'm like, OK, that's the reason you liked that just because of that. I mean, you know, yeah, not yeah. some I guy that's just so, going yeah. to the movies isn't going to know that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It just doesn't make yeah. so I just found that strange. So I had a problem with that, but well, I, I was just glad to see that he liked this movie because I was like, well, you didn't. Anyway, Here, here's what's interesting for a conversation right now that I'm excited to have with you. So you yeah. don't like because yeah, there's yeah. rapes in there. Last Last House on the Left is yeah. an awesome movie. It's on our Quentin Tarantino list uh-huh. but that we'll get to sometime. Yeah. But now that rape is right. what pushes her to go. Yeah. And then the family attacking the family adds to that, you know, later. Right. So, yes, don't you think? Yeah. Granted, it's it's horrible. And some people are like, I just have a hard time watching it. But it adds to the yeah, story it is. The characterization of her to get revenge. Revenge. Yeah. That's see, that's what we were talking about on the last show. Mm-hmm. If you don't have those really terrible reasons, if you don't have those right. terrible traumatic re- events, you, yeah. there's no there's no like drive to want to see the person get revenge to begin with. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. If, if but, it's just like, like I was saying, like if you just like come over and give someone a, a slap and the yeah. person falls down, they're, they're not going to go on a revenge spree for the whole movie. Like, you know, and they're not going to, it's not going to be justified. It has, right. it has but to be I like a really saying, like hardcore reason to get the revenge. Yeah. But I was saying, if you didn't yep. like it because of the content, yeah, doesn't that though make yeah. it a good movie because the content, you know, makes the end game is offensive <laughs> no 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 it's yeah, it's know. the whole thing that we know. just said about the revenge about about yeah. she gets raped yeah and that is her being that's what yeah. alley cat needed something like that a rape uh um, right you know chopping right. off her finger oh, yeah, yeah, yeah right something like that some type of like yeah so, some type of so like, i'm saying this one yeah. has it last house on the left but yeah you're like i don't like it so yeah. I guess what I was saying was, well, how do you not like it? But yeah. now I'm I'm starting to understand what I'm saying, which is, no, you don't like the content. It could be <laughs> anything, but yeah. show that rape in a in a minimalistic way, not so brutal to make us yeah. all uncomfortable, and right. then it'll be okay. You know, yeah. Then you know you're fine with the way that. But I mean, at the goes, same time, it's like yeah. it's not not good with those rapes are like yeah. it filmed in a brutal way. Very, very brutal. Yeah. But the thing is, I Spit on Your Grave has like very brutal scenes in it. But mm-hmm. Last House on the Left has very brutal scenes in it, too. Yeah. I don't see the I really don't see the the big difference as far as like being like offending people goes. So I don't right. I don't know why he chose one over right, the other. Right. Yeah. Well, like, and, like I, I got think that. it's just guess... it might come down to like one little stupid detail. Like, you know, what yeah, I mean? yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Since this was based on Ber- a Bergman movie, it's OK. But it, I spit was an original film, so it's t- total trash. I just yeah, don't get yeah. that type of thinking. Like, yeah, yeah. I yeah. No, I, I, really I get that. I was sense, thinking you know I mean, I was thinking that yeah. you said that you didn't like Last House on the Left and the other one. Oh, no, no, no. I wasn't saying that because con- you were saying content. Oh, no, no. So I was thinking. So that's why I I'm was talking more from I Roger was, Ebert's point of view. Right, right. Because yeah. I was going, well, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. No, I'm no. going to fight you on this, Peter. Yeah, you're but, saying but yeah, something. I, I oh, totally no, no, no. It now. That was and, I, and I would else. be the same way. Like, come on, right. Roger. Like, I the only thing I could see yeah. is Wes Craven's right, exactly. a better that's director. Wes Craven's a better director than whoever directed you know, I spit on your grave. Yeah, Mir Zarchi. That there, might be why was, he yeah. likes him better, likes that one better, because you could see the style. You know, it could be. See, it, it's your. It, it's it seemed kind of biased. I thought, like, just yeah, you yeah. know, like you're, yeah, he's exactly. picking like one little detail why he likes the other one better, or yeah. or thinks the other one's total trash and one is good. Like, I just don't get that. But yeah, anyways, yeah. let's get back to class of yes. nineteen eighty four. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, so this this movie stars uh, Timothy Van Patten and. Uh, we were saying we kind of grew up in the eighties as you know, as we, we often say, and yeah. I, I first saw him on white shadow mm-hmm. on the TV show, white shadow. And then when I was probably like nine or 10, he was on a show called the master. And that yeah. was like my kind of introduction to like ninja ninja stuff. Yeah. So he was, was on the, that's where I knew him from. This is before I even saw this movie. So yeah, that's where, so that's he's where the star I knew him movie. from. So when I'm watching yeah. this movie, I'm like, yeah, who is this guy? I got to look it up. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I, right. you know, I know he's Dick right. Van Patten's son, 
but I'm like, hang on, I got to look for him. Yep. And then I find the master. Or his brother, like, oh, actually, his half brother. Oh, bro- oh mm-hmm. okay. I was yeah. thinking it was his yeah. son. But I'm. <laughs> it's half, but yeah, it's that his makes half sense. Brother, now. actually, like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 eighty two, yep. yeah, but yeah, um, from different, right? Much older though. Yeah. But then I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, like, um, anyways. Well, I mean, Dick Van Patten was the father from eight is enough, but yeah, I get you. Um, right. I'm saying I'm yeah, saying yeah. senior Dick Van Patten <laughs> senior was. But anyway, let's not right. get off on that. Um, but I was like, oh, <laughs> I the know, master that's con- all confusing too. forget it. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. The but master. The master was where I knew him from with Lee and Van like, Cleef. Yeah, I think that's I'm where like, I first saw Lee Van Cleef, too, by the way. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Lee Van Cleef yeah. being like, yeah. the you know, that was like yeah, teaching the ninja, the stuff. older, yeah. older, like teacher guy. But yeah. And yeah. And again, the but, great uh, acting yeah, in this yeah. film. This film was so more of a drama yeah, is, yeah, yeah. than I thought. Like I was thinking, grind, yeah. you know, I've always heard yeah. about it. Class of 1984. And I think yeah. I kind of thought like, mm-hmm. like, is this like the Ramones movie? Is this like this <laughs> high school camp thing? Rock and roll and high I, school. <laughs> yeah, but then I. It is sort of it does have the punk thing, but it's not yeah. like that, though. But I had it's seen the comedy, trailer like, and I was like, oh, OK, <laughs> this is him. He's a teacher getting revenge. But right away when this movie starts, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, you know, and you and I were talking about Perry King. We know him from Riptide being in the 80s and uh, and then with Jake from Jake and the Fat Man. And I was like, and Mm -hmm. so it starts out. I'm telling my wife, I go, honey, like I wouldn't even I turn around, get back in my car and leave. Like, forget it. Like this other teacher has a gun in his briefcase. From the high school you're saying? Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah. no, I'm not. I'm not going to teach her. So I'm I'll read. Go. Yeah, <laughs> I'll read. The, I'll read the little synopsis. And then we can get get back into it again. So, okay. okay, sorry. It is 1984. Perry King is Andy Norris, the new music teacher at an inner city high school. Roddy McDowell is Terry Corrigan, the biology teacher who carries a gun for self-protection. Coming from a small town, Andy can't understand why the students have to pass through a metal detector to get into the school. But then Andy has a lot to learn. Andy finds out the hard way his first run in with the school gang led by Timothy Van Patten ends mildly enough. But each confrontation gets hotter and hotter until Andy Norris and his pregnant wife are the target of the gang's most brutal assault yet. A frightening clash that pits the humanity of our present with a darkly violent future. That was a pretty good synopsis. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, good. so that kind of gives you like a little idea. But and... but it's like, I guess this movie was like, I was going to say this movie was like inspired by the Blackboard jun- Jungle. It's sort of like an 80s, oh. ver- 80s yeah, punk yeah. version of Blackboard Jungle. If yeah. you watch both, you know, if you've seen that movie before with, uh, yeah, with that Glenn Ford and, and all those people. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and uh, Vic Morrow and all those. Yeah. Yeah. And also, uh, I guess a Clockwork Orange was a big influence in, on this movie, too. Clockwork Orange. Oh, really? oh interesting. With like, you know, oh, Malcolm I, McDowell and the, you know, the troops and driving Alex around and in his the cars. Troops. They got yeah, those that's weird the, masks sort on Sort of the punk the terrorizing everybody. Right. Yeah. yeah that's like, you know, that's the terrorizing punks running around. Yeah. Type thing. But uh, yeah, we we both really like this one. I, this is one of my favorite. This is my favorite out of the two movies, I think. And you know, had you seen? Can, had you uh, seen this you know, one say before? That's my, yeah, I've seen this one several okay. times before. Okay, over yeah. the years, you know, I don't yeah. watch it every week or anything. But yeah, it's, it was, <laughs> I was it's surprised a little bit too, too much. I was surprised. Excuse me, I was surprised because it was on Peacock. And it said with ads, and yeah. I thought, oh man, I go, well, I don't know. It's, it's on Tubi. Hour, it's on and, Tubi too. Oh, it's on Tubi too. Yeah. Well, on Peacock, yeah. it said ads, yeah, but it only Tubi. played an ad in the beginning, yeah. and then it played through the whole movie. Because I was oh. like, oh, I go, honey, oh, nice. I don't know That's if good. I'm going to be done by ten o'clock to do this show. Like, if there's going to be a bunch of ads, and then I'm like, yeah. oh wait, there's no more ads. So just right. an ad in the beginning, like for a minute. But yeah, it's, it's yeah, it it's was. Good. So when this right. started out, at first, I'm like, OK, that co- that teacher has a gun like there's metal detectors like this is fun. Something's up. But then and then, yeah. like, I thought the main guy was that guy in the white shirt with like that ends up uh, painting guy? like the black eye patch at the end on his uh, face. I thought that. Oh, that yeah, that's drugstore. <laughs> I was like, oh, I think that's a main that's his leader. nickname. And then I'm like, I'm like, oh, no, that's not no. the main leader. The main leader is Tim Van Patten. Yeah. And and right. just right away, like these kids are not it's the thing. And they did these movies after this. Then there was, you know, years later, there was the yeah. principal and there was uh, Lima. Right. I was going to bring that up, actually, the principal. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. 
sort of like, you know, and the principal, I think, was more him fighting back. Lean on me was like, yeah, let me try. That's to like the this. principal. Lean on me was like, yeah, was that's that? more dangerous... of like him trying to help the kids or something. Yeah. What was that one? Dangerous ground. Dangerous minds. Dangerous. Dangerous minds with uh, with, with, uh, with Michelle, Michelle Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer and uh, yeah. So the, yeah. those two right. uh, lean on me and that one were more like, let me teach the kids. Principal in this one, right, more right, like, right, and also stand and yeah. stand and deliver is another one yeah, like that. Yeah. Stand and deliver with uh, yeah. Edward James Olm. That's yeah, like you know yeah. the, the kids are like trying to like and actually summer school. And that's like a different. That's a comedy yeah. though. But I mean, it's <laughs> yeah, like all like stuff. Yeah. I'm thinking of all like high school. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking of all high school yeah. stuff. You know what I mean? Like, They're all good. But anyways, though. this is more but, of like this is more like you know kids like it, you know terrorizing the school. Yeah, type. it became. This, this is like more like um, what do you call it? Massacre at Central High or something like one of those types yeah, of movies yeah. where it's it like w- now the kids are like, you know, actually like committing crimes and stuff. It was it was like the one again, we bring up Vigilante, yeah. but Vigilante because yeah. of that gang was like yeah. rough. But this gang was even more rough right. because yeah. then they're dealing drugs. Yeah. That black guy's dealing drugs. Yeah. They tell him, no, we're the only ones <laughs> dealing drugs. They get in that fight. And right. I'm like, and you can oh, tell this- they're like racist and everything, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I go like like, fascist, they're like fascist, racist punks. And I go, this is like outsiders time, like this kind of fighting, like, you know, like that's what I was always like. I don't want to go to a school Mm -hmm. like that, you know, (laughs) or whatever. I know it's like it's pretty it was pretty scary because of movies. You see that or because of movies, you see prison stuff and you're like, I don't think I could survive in prison. I do not want to go to prison. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Um, And but and also it, we, we forgot to mention a, a young chubby chubby Michael J. Fox is in this. I, I think this is like say, one of his very first movies, too. <laughs> so it says Michael Fox. You can't leave that out. It says Michael Fox. Yeah. And I'm like, is that Michael J. Fox? I go, no, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden is. I see him it and is. I'm like, oh, my God, it is Michael J. Fox. And then I'm like, what's with his cheeks? They're it's really Marty red. McFly. <laughs> and he's chubby. Yeah, yeah, he's like before back he was like a chubby little kid. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh my god! He saw that baby. He saw his baby fat in the movie. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then, and he's 20 in this movie. He's 21 in this movie. Yeah, right. And I'm like, yeah. holy shit! Yeah, my wife's like, he's 21. He doesn't look that old. That's for yeah. sure. She goes, he looks like he's 14. He looked like he was like 14 or something. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah. But that was funny. So then the drug deal stuff, the thing of him, a teacher trying to like just get yeah. rid of them. And then that yeah. there's a scene in the bathroom where he's like, Michael J. Fox is like, you don't want to do this. Like, don't do any of that crap. <laughs> and his friend buys drugs right. off of them and snorts it yeah. out of his hand. I've never seen anybody out of yeah. the palm of their hand snort. Coke he just puts way. it in his hand. And yeah. <laughs> and, and then the teacher comes in and he's like, yeah. he knows that he's there. Te- they're, he's selling the stuff and he's like trying to get, he's trying to like get the, you know, the principal to like, you know, kick him out of school but he's like i yeah. never we don't know who sold the drugs to him it could be it could have been anybody or whatever pulls, he says pulls that baggie out of the urinal you know? i'm like gross don't baggy yeah <laughs> don't grab that. yeah um, <laughs> i know it but, was like kind of that wasn't gross yeah and then the and then like he said he yeah. tells it, the principal too like how do you know it's it was our it could have been there before we even right. got there and the principal's like all right and he's right. like no i know it's him and michael j fox won't say a word that kid <laughs> looks high as fuck yeah. When when Perry Singh is like <laughs> and he climbs up the he climbs up the flagpole. Climbs up that flagpole. <laughs> he climbs and up the later, flagpole Perry and he's like, like, Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're uh, like, oh shit. Now what's gonna happen? <laughs> to the flag. And I'm like, honey, we used to do that yeah. in school. Yeah, like um, <laughs> but it's that thing of Perry King <laughs> later is like if I would have only been more observant, I would have seen that he was high. I should have known yeah. that. Yeah. And I'm like, Yeah, I right. can tell his eyes yeah, were but he did really good, that guy. <laughs> like he looked like he was yeah he was it. good um but yeah then just falls off it's the, like falls off late. the pole onto the ground and he's dead and i'm like <laughs> oh shit and that's another that's one where i'm like i'm like honey something's gonna happen here and something roddy mcdowell's know. like let's go get a drink <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> whatever he says let's go get a drink yeah okay let's go and he's drinking at work but i mean the, i thought i i thought the yeah was he yeah, oh yeah, remember I think he was, he was like, like, he was like you want some? He's like, no. He goes, I'm trying to think. He goes, well, because oh, yeah, I yeah, need yeah. the work. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna need it or something. And he's holding, yeah. holding the rabbit. and also yeah. like, but I, oh yeah, the, the, but I mean, I thought the the punks did a really good job, like you know, terror, you know, as far as oh, the yeah. acting goes, like yeah, yeah, Tim Van Patten was really good in in this a yeah. villain. He was really good in this. Yeah, better than you know, any his, his little lines. Other, he's saying. <laughs> better than the Karate yeah. Kid and 
just one of the guys. Oh yeah. Like, like no, William Zabka. I mean, like yeah, he yeah. makes, he makes William Zabka look like a little like angel in this movie. Yeah, like he's yeah, just, exactly. You know, yeah. He was really no. good in this. The, that guy was good. Like everybody, yep. like that big guy, he was like intimidating and just yeah, the like, big, huge later guy. on wearing the yeah. Nazi shirt. I don't know the actor's the name. But, shirt. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. but then right. that guy died. So that guy falls off the light, off the flagpole. And I'm like, Oh shit, right. this is like serious. And then they're and like, now it's on now. <laughs> yeah. And then they're like, Michael yeah, J. Fox, so you want to talk? Like, come on, you need, I need you to say yeah. that they bought the drugs. And he's right. like, I can't. And he looks and right then at he him. He goes though. after him. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, and then oh, they shit. go after you know, him. And he's like, Oh no. And right. it's, and that's and they start another going one. After him. You don't. And that's why this is good because it's, yeah. It, it already threw you for a loop. Okay, this is more harder than right. I thought it was going to be. Right. Then when him and the yep. girl, when they stop him and they're like, get in the car and he's like, no, and he grabs her and runs. They try to run. Like, you're yeah. like, oh shit, they're going to, they're going to track them down. Kill them or something. They might kill them. Like what? Yeah. Because right. it's that kind of movie now. You're like, I don't know what's going to happen. Right. This, the stakes go, are get the stakes get higher and higher as the movie goes on. Basically, like, yeah. You know I mean? And it's again, those, that's why that's why it's so good about it. it yeah. It's like, and again, I'm yelling at one the thing TV, and then it goes that, another something. That's America's sweetheart, Michael J. Yeah. Fox. Don't hurt him. And, <laughs> yeah, uh, I know. But then the teacher and is probably like, nobody even knew who he was back. Then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is. Then, I think this is. Even, I think this is even before Family is, Ties too. Yeah, this probably is pre, like right before pre Family Amazon. Ties. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the teacher is yeah. like. They're driving for a beer or whatever. And then he's like, oh, look, what yeah. are they up to? And he's like, we're yeah. not even. And I'm like, yeah. you're not in school. You have no authority here, which is pretty much what yeah, Tim right. Van Patten tells him. It's yeah. like, you have no authority. Right. And and then yeah. and they broke that bottle like right next to her. Like they're going to stab her in the face or something. Yeah. And you're like, Slice oh her throat. God. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That girl. And then um, and then he but I, gets but there. I, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. But what I liked about uh, I liked about um, Vincent Van, I mean, Tom, Tim Van Patten's character is like, you know, he's he's really tough and like, you know, kind of like intimidating and stuff. But like, you know, that like you just kind of like push him like he falls down, like he doesn't like have any like like real yeah. like, you know, fighting skills or yeah, anything. Yeah, like you yeah. can't do anything, which is like yeah. it's just he's one of those kind of he's yeah. almost like a big baby. Like, you know, he's like yeah, one of those yeah. types of characters yeah, like he's more... like a like a like a, you know. It, like, like a uh, baby like, Huey type, like, you know, pissed off, you know, yeah, like who, well, he's who like was, a bully, but he like can't really do that much. You know, like I mean? the, big, the big guy from Green Mile that ended up dying in real life. It's like him. Like you heard that he oh, was a sweetheart. Uh, Michael Clark Duncan. Yeah. If you Michael run into Clark him Duncan, on the street I mean, and he had a mean yeah. look on his face, he'd be like, he'd oh, be geez. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. But then he'd be a teddy yeah. bear. But it's also but I mean. Yeah, but this is more of like a, you know, he's just like a, right, right, he's just right, like a, like yeah. a hot air balloon. Like he's like yeah, hot yeah, air, yeah. full of hot <laughs> yeah, air. Yeah, like, so you yeah. just, you just give him, you, you like, you, but, you fight back and he just falls down. Like, like, and the, that's what they <laughs> said. And that's, you know, which I like. My, bo I my was bodyguard was like that. That guy was, you know, yeah, the uh, bully Matt guy. Dillon yeah. was all yeah. tough and everything. Yeah. But then as soon as he got right. his ass kicked and knocked down, then he stopped being, yeah. you know, he right. wasn't as tough right. as So this is the same type of idea. Um, right. But, what else? I think it's after this where he goes and plays piano. So they get Michael J. Fox and the girl yeah, out of there. That that was a great little scene too. Yeah, yeah, because oh, oh, it showed love, like there was another side to him. He was like an artist, but he's like a total maniac at the same time. I love, and I cool. guess he that he made that himself. He he oh, wrote wow. that himself. Uh, Tim Van Patten. He That's did that cool. whole thing himself, which is which that was is kind cool, of cool too. Because detail. if it was Lean on Me or Stand and yep. Deliver, it would be see. There's yep. more to these kids than you know. But this is just. Right, he's not right. saying anything, just playing yeah. it. And he's like, "Now can I be in your fucking thing?" Right. He's like, "Nope." And he's like, mm -hmm. and then he gets really <laughs> angry. He's like, "I don't want to be in." Then he got really pissed thing. off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, asshole band. Anyways, and, <laughs> and Stegman uh, doesn't play in anybody's asshole band. <laughs> Whatever. And what's his name gets his? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, some. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, and then gets his hand cut. Perry uh, Roddy McDowell. And Roddy McDowell has already. Oh, that's yeah. why he drinks in class. That's why he carries a gun. He's like, nobody's learning nothing. Yeah, he's on the he edge. That guy. <laughs> yeah, he's totally on the edge. Like one little thing is going to make him snap or something. Yeah, <laughs> and, which it does. <laughs> and uh, and then <laughs> and again, this just keeps amping up. So then I don't know. if yeah, it's, that's I whole... think it's now it's right after this, isn't it? That he comes to school and that they're like, hey, you need to come to your class. To Roddy, Roddy McDowell. McDowell. And oh yeah, and, and they class. they've totally ripped apart all the um he had the all frogs and all like the, yeah. the 
the like all these animals that were like cats. yeah what it was but it was like all for like for like you know the um what do you call it class like science biology to class show, so they can yeah, like do like exper- show, yeah, experiment whatever that's called i forget everything yeah yeah whatever. yeah all that stuff but but they totally like just like you know tear and my what my wife goes, the whole place. my wife goes holy shit i go yeah because they got that one little <laughs> yeah. like, hamster like tied to the little they got it like on like a spit arm. yeah and yeah, it looks like it's like on a spit, ones, like or something. Other ones stuck on the wall, and their <laughs> yeah. skin smeared all over the wall, and, and the everything. Cats hanging yeah. from a noose. It was pretty and nasty. Like, and I'm like, holy yeah. shit! Yeah, like this has gotten bad. And that's when he kind of goes goes off. Like that's when he goes <laughs> and pushes he goes off his rocker. Van Patten into the river. That's when he goes off his rocker. Yeah, that's when Perry King runs, yeah. pushes Tim Van Patten yeah. into the bathroom and starts yelling at him. Yeah, and. When he slams right. his head into that, is mirror, that what he smashes his head against the? Yeah, I go, I go, honey, yeah. this is like fear. You know, he's crazy. I go, this is like fear. Remember yeah. fear, where Mark Wahlberg was like beating himself up, saying she did. That's it? probably. I I wouldn't be surprised if that's where he watched this movie before yeah. he made that, and he's like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do what he Tim Van Patten does in this movie. <laughs> yeah, you and never know. He could have done so that too. I was like, Holy he's that type shit. of character, like. I was like, oh my god, because he's yeah. beating himself up on the mirror. He's hit, yeah. goes to hit himself into the the where the hand dryer is yeah, yeah. and like his face and right. Perry King's like stop just then don't he makes do it this. look like the, the teacher beat him up yeah. and stuff and then they yeah. come in and that's when he's like look what he's doing to me oh and he wipes the blood on his hand I like that where he's like grabs his fist real right. quick and puts blood on yeah, it yeah that was good and he's like look what he did to me and you're right. like oh shit <laughs> and then that's yeah, when he's, he's, he's like, just he's really good at like getting away with stuff <laughs> yeah but he's also like, good I, I mean because you can tell from the movie that like yeah you can tell from the movie, like, this has been going on for years, like, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, they've been getting away with this stuff for, yeah, like, years Yeah, that now and a new and, like, teacher you know, came on and can and do this. This is going to be, like, the, yeah, this is probably going to be the last time, like, the, you know, something's going to go off and, like, he's going to. But also the off. thing. He's not going to be able to get away with it. like. Type. Yeah, exactly. But the thing for this movie to take that turn where you think you're watching, mm-hmm. it's going to be a gang in a school, new teacher's going to come yeah. in, yeah. maybe he'll fight him a little bit, something. Yeah. But now this adds yeah, another level to right. it. Now the guy beats himself up, says he did it, goes home. His mom's really mm-hmm. sweet to him. He's kind of a dick to his mom a little bit, still yeah. loves her. But then yep. when he yep. wants to talk to him, he's like, no. And then he goes down to the car. I'm like, oh, shit, he's going to because they burned his car first with the Molotov. Right. Cocktail. That's right. They blew up his car. And he goes yep. and gets in his car, hot wires it and just starts slamming it into everything. And I'm like, he should a good be slamming scene. into other. Yeah, it was really cool. And yeah, I'm like, and other people's car. <laughs> yeah, I said. I noticed. I, 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 I was, I was watching when I was in that little scene before he goes down and smashes the car. Stegman is watching a movie on the TV. That's oh, one of Mark yeah. Lester's earlier yeah. movies. Bobby, I don't. Did you ever see Bobby yeah. Joe and the Outlaw? Did you ever yeah. see that one? Oh yeah, yeah. With yeah. Linda with Carter. The, yeah, <laughs> That's, Linda he's Carter. watching that on TV. I thought that was a fun little. I, I didn't realize was it was a Mark Lester touch. film, but yeah, I was like, oh, that's. Yeah, uh, it was. It was. Oh, uh, Linda Carter <laughs> shows her boobs again. More boobs. I'll take it. Bobby Joe and the um, Outlaw. But yep. yeah, I saw that like last year for yeah. the first time. And you know. I was like, I was like, that was it. <laughs> yeah. right? It was on TCM. Bob, or yeah. something. It was um, it's sort of like a it's sort of like a like a low budget 70s Bonnie and Clyde type movie. Yeah. I thought it was good. I liked it. Yeah. yeah Bobby yeah, Joe and yeah. the Outlaw. That was good. Yeah. Especially the way it the end and everything. Yeah. Everybody check it out. I think yeah. it's on HBO Max, maybe. Yeah. But um, yeah, I noticed that. I always yeah, like that. That's the thing. With I, us, I think it, us movie guys that are always like, yeah. what's that movie yeah. playing on screen? Oh, my God. They're watching, you know, on Jackie Brown. They're watching Dirty Man. And then, and then you want to go watch the movie or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Then you're like, I want to like Mad, Mad Dog Killer or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love those little those mm-hmm. little movies. Yeah. It makes I you want to like go watch the movie. <laughs> um, when we were doing our other podcast, me and uh, my cousin, when we yeah. did this other one, uh, we had yeah. watched, we went through all the Quentin movies. And when we did Jackie Brown, I was like, oh, I got to yeah. see that movie. And I went and watched Mad Dog Killer right after. So it's cool. Yeah, that was a, that's one of my favorites. Yeah. too. Of the, I really like it. Let's see. That, that had a good bad guy. But yep. um, but this is yeah. so then it's amping it up. He wrecks his car. The, he comes in. Yeah. So what'd you do? He goes, what right. do you mean? I didn't do anything. And. <laughs> Now he's like trying to get. So now they're in the lunchroom. Oh, yeah. So this part was done yeah. cool. But also now they're going to now they're, they're going like, to get Michael J. Fox's character. Michael, right? it's the next, an that's the next attack. Thing. It's an innocent thing where Joe or yeah. Perry King is talking to 
Michael J. Yeah. Fox, he's talking to the cop. And he's like, oh, yeah. this is Michael yep. J. Fox. This is a cop, cop. This is Michael J. Fox. And he's just yep. introducing him. They think that he's saying that he's, he's going to testify. He's giving up the information. Yeah, yeah right, right. And right. so they're like, we got to yep. fuck him up. So then they're at lunch later that yep. day. And all of a sudden, they're and like, they hire some kid. new kid. And the kid's like, sure. And he yeah. gives him this crooked switchblade, this really cool, weird yep. snake like switchblade. And that's and the, then, that's the kid that came into the punk club. Remember, the, that's the kid that came into the punk. He's like, oh, I want to work for you guys. And he's like, oh, yeah. well, you're a little bit too young. Well, we'll get back to you. Oh, so then they actually right. hire this guy. They, this is like his first. This is like the mob like thing where they hired the I, guy to like, you know, see if he's going to like, you know, if he's going to do the job so he, he'll be part of the group like or something. I forgot you know I mean? so about that, but that, that was that another kid. He was kind like, of whatever cool, he was. Yeah. It was another kind yeah. of cool thing before. His, and it's like an, of, it's an initiation. It's an initiation yeah, thing. The girl where they're being like, like you know, I want to be ha- part of this. Do it to, and he's right. like, take off all your clothes. Yeah. And, and that's the other the girl one. too. And yeah. so, uh, <laughs> right. but then he walks over. So they cause a distraction and then he goes over and stabs Michael J. Fox. And I'm like, holy shit. I go, this he just, gets yeah, this movie nailed. went there. Like he got stabbed. Yeah. He's on the ground. Next thing you see, he's in the hospital and they're telling Perry King, like, yeah. well, we don't know. He's, he's, he's stable. And all of a sudden you're like, I'm like, where are the parents? <laughs> where are his parents? Shouldn't oh, they be no. there? Like yeah. you don't tell the teacher. There's nobody, I know their parents, yeah. nobody's there, <laughs> um, but he's just uh, there by himself. But it's but like it was, it's it's still it's still going it's still amping up yeah it's, yeah it's still yeah, not done it's, yet it's still going you've, there's now more you've stuff almost killed that guy then uh then Michael J Fox is okay but he won't yeah. testify against them and then right. now is that when they go and this movie's only an hour and a half long but it seems this now done, they go to now do they go well. to now they go to the teacher. Well, I don't know. If, did we get to the part where Roddy McDowell attacks them? He he no, attacks no, them. The I think it was right after the the the, yeah, the, yeah. the yeah, class. Right after that. Oh, that's right after that. They, I think but so. He, yeah. Then he had tries to attack him. I can't remember. Does he get killed? Does the car blow up or something? I can't remember that part. No, yeah. He's so, driving down the street so and like first, the car hits another car and it blows up or something. So first, Roddy remember. McDowell's got a gun on yeah. him on his whole class. And yeah, that's in questions. class. Yeah. And he's again, asking though, the students, like, you know. To see if they'll get it right or not. But you yeah. see that they're actually just yep. like him playing the piano, Tim Van Patten. You see that they are actually pretty yeah. smart. They've right. retained some stuff when he's like, what's yeah. a female they, chromosome? They, Why? At gunpoint. What is this? <laughs> yeah. And they're answering. But then right. Tim Van Patten can't answer. But then he Stegman you know, doesn't get his so, answer right. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, he almost shoots him. too. So then they wrestle <laughs> the gun out of his hand. But now he's like creeping along at night yep. in his car drinking and he's ready to run them all down. Right. Looking for the kids, and he's and hitting he them. Does, and the, he the tries to. Edmund's wearing like a Terminator One jacket. Remember yeah. when they Arnold look like they, they look like they like just came out of like Terminator. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, uh, they're wearing like him. the same type of clothes as Arnold in that movie. And then <laughs> tries to come around to hit him yeah. some more. And then that's when he and he's on top over. of the hood of the car. Yeah, yeah. And then he yeah. flips the car over, and then he hits another car. I think, and yeah, and hits a car, and his car, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, maybe. And my wife went to the right. restroom or something. I go, maybe he's okay. And then the whole car explodes. I yeah. go, never mind, honey. <laughs> so, nope. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> and maybe and he's then, okay. <laughs> and I'm like, holy shit. Like now nope. they killed him. Like that was the thing too. When they're like, there's another to one, another take thing you to the hospital. But then yeah. Roddy McDowell's like, I'm fine. And like grabs yeah. his stuff and walks out like no problem. <laughs> and you're like, okay. Right. But then yep. he's attacking him. But then, yeah, now he's dead. Right. Now, you know, um, and yeah, uh, Perry King tries to tell I her, think, like, I think, need to leave. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. yeah, I think the next part was when he went to the kid's house. I thought that's when he went to the oh, kid's house. Maybe. Then he smashes up the car. Then then Stegman comes in and says, oh, you, you're you the one that smashed my car. You're the one that did it. He's in, and the cop's there. And he says, you have any problem, Mr. Norris? And he's like, no, 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 Mr. Stegman is just leaving. So then he leaves. And then that's when they go after his wife. And right, then that's, right. you know what I mean? They, they go yeah, to, the, yeah. to, the, yeah. to the to his house and yeah, they yeah. attack his wife. And that's like was... the next. Yeah, thing. yeah, that's probably like the last thing. Yeah, yeah I think cause... that I think so. I think that's like the. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking it was. Because he was leaving Anyways. his house when he went down to the parking garage and saw his yeah. car talking to the mom right. and then went right. down. So that's why I was thinking it was right yeah. after he beat him I up. I can't think. 
yeah. but it don't matter. Yeah, it could have been. You could be right. I'm not sure. But it's it's but yeah, either or. So, either or. It's so then, you know, it's going that way anyway. <laughs> so she sends him off to go do this concert, yeah. which is vitally important. They're all doing well. Yeah. They're doing good. Um, and mm-hmm. they're gonna yeah, perform, the kids are really good. They're gonna the perform at the orchestra. theater, and then um, then all of a sudden she's getting ready. And because my wife's like, why didn't she go yeah. with him to the thing? And I'm like, well, she's going to come later. They're going to practice. Yeah. And then she's lays her dress out, getting ready to put on. And there he is. There's one of the bad guys. In right. The thing, and you're like, oh, shit. all the gang and comes in like, and they all come in. And you're like, and oh, yes, shit. Trying they to do. <laughs> yeah. And yes, whatever you think is going to happen does, it, in fact, happen. At first, I'm thinking. Okay, it it's going to be Stegman. <laughs> Stegman's going to rape her. But then yep. they each have a turn and you're yep. like, oh, my gosh. Right. And the woman is and it's taking, not the normal like they. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She takes the Polaroid yeah. and then saves yeah. it. And what right. we're going to say is not your normal. Right. It's not like the thing like where they're just like gently doing it. It's like. Yeah, they're like making it like Lifting so rough and, and so like, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just like, you know, thrusting with like, you know, they're at a punk club type. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's like a, you know, yeah, punk rock like rape scene. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But also, though, not so that's like, as, you know, that's what anyways. So anyways. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But yeah. not like they're not you know, done in a tasteful <laughs> way, if you can say that in a tasteful way, but uh <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess but, so. <laughs> but then they, yeah, then they take her with them, put her in the van. Yeah, they drive to yeah. the pl- to the place right at the auditorium, and she gives that guy the envelope and like give this to the teacher, and he runs up to yeah, the front. The and he's teacher, like, this woman over yeah. there, she gave me this, and he opens it up, and you're like, oh shit, what's he gonna do? I'm like, is he gonna yell? Is he? Gonna-? I mean, it's and pretty he- good. I mean, really, yeah. yeah. As far as escalating it's doing a good job escalating the stuff even more and more yeah, like that's yeah. what I, that's why it's a good yeah i think it's good really buttons. good on that level it's they're, like, they're you know they're pushing each other it's buttons. getting worse and worse and yeah and then yeah. finally he just right. goes running and he's like where is she where is she and that girl's right. like running away and he's yeah. got to go down into the bowels yep. of the school wherever he's going and then <laughs> right the gymnasium and, and wherever he was and then this know, is when it gets that. a little grindhousey if you want, you know, like where it's this got, is, like, yeah. Saw, well, it, it's been pretty good. Saw. Yeah. Right. Well, right. Yeah. Well, I mean, like that was an awesome. Would, yeah. I didn't think they were going to do that. Yeah. In that scene. Should we just spoil the whole thing? I mean, I, 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 that scene like with the to, kid on the saw, like stop usually you never say, see. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Usually they, you never see that. I won't like say exactly what happens, but right. usually you don't think they can actually do the whole thing, but they do. They do. In they go good, all the way with that, which was like pretty awesome. Yeah. That gets points. That gets Grindhouse points from me. Yeah. For that. Well, and basically we won't run <laughs> it. My, there's you some, know, my, we won't run it because there's some cool things yeah, in there, but right. he's got to, yeah, he's got to get yeah, rid of all them before he gets yeah. to the boss, the boss, bad guy. Right. So, and then they're like, the, you right. know, where is he? Good he's up on the roof Stegman. with her. Yeah. yeah. And so then he has to go up and right. get her. And that's like, roof. that's like the end of the movie. Yeah. And it is, oh, it's so and it's a good. good. That's a good ending too. Yeah. The ending is awesome too. Yeah, it's, it's so perfect. it's so it delivers like you know what I mean. It's like yeah, you don't know what's gonna happen, and then it's like you know, so the way it goes, it's like awesome. It's very like satisfying on that level. I give it. I give it so, four. I, I mean, give this, this was a really four. good movie, a really good, awesome movie. I give yeah. this one four. Stars I need too. I'd give it because, four because yeah, yeah, it's it like, was. Good. It was, you know, it was good. I could see watching it again. I could see yeah. bringing people over and being like, "Hey, you need to watch yeah. this," like you know. It'd be awesome. So yeah, and I guess I didn't know that Roger Ebert said it was the best film he saw at the Cannes Film Festival in oh, nineteen eighty two. Wow. That's pretty. That's pretty good praise. Wow, I didn't realize yeah. that. I knew that he liked it, but I didn't and it was that. it was interesting was awesome. too. I don't know if you looked this up, but in the beginning, it says yeah. this is yeah. It says this is a true story based on true events or something. Yeah, and you're yeah, I and saw I'm that. Like, and actually, like, the other movie I was. So I was gonna. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean. Yeah, I mean that probably at least it was part. I'm sure it was loosely based on events yeah, that yeah. you know yeah, that type of like, stuff happened. But the other movie, uh, the other movie was based on some true event too, like loosely based on something that yeah, happened. Yeah, like some girl the, the part that... where where uh, Alley Cat, the part where girl where she tries to defend somebody from getting you know raped or yeah. something, and they they take you know they arrest her for doing it or something like you know yeah, something yeah. like that. One of those yeah. little 
things that happen. But yeah. So what but, were you going to say? We're... Um, I was going to say, yeah, but I was going to say almost like remember when Fargo came out and it said based on true story or true events. Yeah. And everybody's like, oh, my yeah, God, but this that was really fake, happened? though, right? Yeah, exactly. Everybody's like, this really yeah, it happened? wasn't, though. And the <laughs> Coen brothers are like, Coen brothers. I love are like, that movie, well, by the maybe, way. <laughs> maybe somebody yeah. somewhere got kidnapped. <laughs> Maybe somebody somewhere yeah. got thrown in a, in a so, wood chipper, but right. none of this It's like a bunch of things together. connected. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, that was, yeah. I, that's one of my favorite movies too. Oh, yeah. So uh, <laughs> I, I took a, a, just real yeah, quick. Yeah, so classic I took a, 1984 gets a good, good score. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Um, no, I was just going to say, I took a friend to go see Fargo after I saw it in the theater. And I took my friend, I go, you got to oh. see it. She's like, OK, we're sitting through it at the end of the movie. She looks at me. We're walking out. She yeah, goes, yeah, you like that movie? I go, yeah, it's fucking good. She goes, <laughs> it was like it made her look at me in a different way because I liked it. Like, OK, really? That's weird. Yeah, because she thought oh like God. maybe I'm like yeah, Steve Buscemi awesome. Awesome. or like, you know, the wood chip range or something. <laughs> uh, who knows? Yeah, you're like Steve Buscemi. Yeah, you're going to throw in the wood chipper. Or something. Yeah, exactly. So no, that um, was just an awesome but I mean, no. the Coen brothers, you, we love the Coen brothers stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, class of yeah, uh, class of 84 yeah. class of 1984 was, was, was really good because yeah, it that was a good one. Like I said, I was expecting one thing, like kind of maybe a revenge thing, but yeah. not just one back thing. and forth, back right. and yeah. forth and amping up escalating. And, yeah. yeah, the escalation. And the coolest thing was him. That's why it's so good. Up. It's awesome. Him beating yeah. himself up in the bathroom yeah. is the coolest. And I could see that right. where, like we said, if you. Right. If you and I went and saw this, yeah. or let's say I went and saw it in the theater in 82, then I'd be like, oh, yep. my God, Peter, mm -hmm. I got to take you to see this movie. You got to say there's a part in the back. <laughs> I, I can't tell you about it. You just got to see it or the <laughs> end. I got to show you this part on the table saw like really cool. You don't think he's going to actually do it. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I mean, it really was awesome. I love this movie. Yeah, yeah, and, it was, um, it was good. We, I, do we uh, miss thank you for sharing that with me. I appreciate it. It was awesome. Yeah, I'm glad you liked it. I was like, you know, I, I knew that you'd probably like that one the most out of both of these. Yeah. Because, I mean, Ali, we both liked Alley Cat, but this one just has so much good stuff in it when it yeah, comes it to, had, like, you know, the gr that good old grindhouse, like, you know, content. Yeah, yeah so much. <laughs> yeah, just awesome. full of pulp, full of whatever. It was just yeah. meaty and good. Yeah. Right. It had, the, it had the right amount of action, the right amount of revenge, the right m amount of yeah, gore. Acting, the, you know, it was just the bad just guys. The right yeah. Yeah, it was good acting. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Those kids were like, so like hateful. They were yeah. just like the worst, like <laughs> an individualistic good actors. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So that was, uh, I'm trying to think of we, anything else we want to get to. Or... And so were those, those were playing together at the think... deuce. Those were playing on April or... 10th at the same, at the Rialto theater on as, April 10th as a double feature on, or, uh, it was it was a double feature, I think. On that, it, it wasn't like a two separate theaters. It was just right, two, right. Or oh, two separate cool. screens. Yeah. It was just a double feature. That was a good. That would be a good double feature to go see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and Alley Cat was the new Alley Cat was the newer movie. I think it j had just come out like a month earlier, a couple months earlier. And and mm -hmm. in class of nineteen eighty four had been out like for a couple of years. That was like oh, a double, yeah, yeah, the bottom of right. the bill. Yeah. Like, but still awesome film. But but that's yeah, what's awesome cool. Film. That's what's cool that we said about these grindhouse movies is they would stay in the theaters for a while. And so if you didn't see it, you'd be surprised yeah. by holy shit. Like yeah. I went to see yeah, Alley Cat. Still be there for a while new. for a few years. Yeah. I went and saw Alley yeah. Cat and then yeah. I was surprised by this movie I didn't know about from two years ago. Like holy shit. Right. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean they always did that. They always yeah. had like some older film. Yeah, yeah. It's like we did, yeah. Even like from like, time. you know, yeah. they probably have like even like like was zombie that was still playing like in whenever whatever yeah. what year was that 1983 or 84 or something yeah so it was still playing which was like you know just showed you how popular it was there's these things with the not only these so, movies that you're showing me movies that we're doing on my podcast is that stick with yeah. you like that zombie movie mm -hmm. like i think about it almost every day right. of like <laughs> that street of them walking down the street <laughs> to go to the thing to lock it up like yeah that was awesome. in there like and the yeah. shark shark and zombie the shark one is the best like underwater and course, the shark like, and zombie walking up to her oh yeah yeah so good that scene is awesome yeah 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 that was great so that was an awesome double feature so i don't know if you want to wrap the show up or 
Um, yeah, sure. Keep going. <laughs> I'm ready whenever you are. Okay. <laughs> I know. Okay, so this has been 42nd Street Forever, and I've been talking with Phil from Making Tarantino. Thanks, Phil, for being here. And no we'll, problem. We'll try to do another episode on another another good double feature. Yes, for sure. And we'll see you next time. All right. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, Peter. Bye.